There is an interesting news development in the electric vehicle battery production friends. Northvolt wants to overtake Tesla Gigafactory's battery production uh, in terms of size. Elon Musk had announced that the largest battery factory in the world will be built at Tesla Gigafactory Berlin. Now, it looks like the production facilities for Volkswagen and Volvo could end up being much larger when it comes to the schedule that Tesla is still ahead. And I'm going to explain this in this report. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are uh, new here, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla, electric vehicle, battery, and giga burning news. And give us thumbs up, please, if you find this report informative. Now, the race for the energy storage of electromobility is entering a new round, the race for battery. A battery cell factory of a joint venture between Volvo and Volkswagen partner Nordvolt is expected to provide 50 gigawatt hours per year. Production will start in 2026, where it has not yet been determined, both companies announced in a press release. Nordvolt already operates a production facility in Skeleftea, which is to be expanded to a capacity of 60 gigawatt hours. Tesla's Giga Berlin battery is 50 gigawatt to start with. In addition, Volkswagen is planning factory near Salzgitter with 40 gigawatt hours together with Northvolt. The German car company has just given the cell supplier a substantial injection of 500 million euros. In total, Northvolt raised 2.75 billion US dollars. In the meantime, one can see from the approval documents issued by Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin that the battery plant at Giga Berlin is to create an annual capacity of 50 gigawatt hours. Tesla's factory is also 80% ready. This is why I said that Tesla's Giga Berlin's battery efforts is ahead of Northvolt's efforts. Now, Northvolt and Volvo have still ambitious plans. The joint venture between Northvolt and Volvo is still in the planning stage because, like I said, it's come. the battery will be produced in 2026. Tesla is almost ready. It is to start work in research and development center in 2022 and belong equally to the partners, I mean the battery research center. The tasks include the further development of high-voltage batteries and vehicle integration, at the same time, the partners are planning to set up a gigafactory for battery cells, the cells of which will be used in the next generation of the fully electric Volvo XC60. As planned, the plant will work exclusively with renewable energy and create around 3,000 jobs, announced the two Swedish companies, Northvolt and Volvo. Volvo announced that it would provide more details about its own plans at the Volvo Cars Tech Moment. The Geely Subsidiaries online event starts on June 30th, so look for that. You know, Volvo is a Geely subsidiary, Geely is a Chinese car maker. Volvo has already announced complete electrification of the model range by 2030. Now, Tesla, though, sees itself on schedule. Tesla officially announced the capacity of battery production at the Grünheide Giga Berlin site for the first time uh, in the public documents that were dis uh, displayed already. The application on the display speaks of 50 gigawatt hours of 500 million cells, battery cells per year. Observers calculate that this will be enough for the 500,000 cars that Tesla wants to build at Giga Berlin, mostly Model Y. Most recently, Brandenburg Minister of Economic Affairs, Jörg Steinbach, said that 80% of the facilities were completed. This is why, above, I said Tesla is ahead of time when it comes to schedule, as the facility is 80% complete. The Tesla automaker changed plans and added plastic manufacturing. This increases the vertical range of manufacturer and added value at the location, according to Tesla. The press shop is also being expanded. To do this, another 1,150 concrete piles must be sunk into the ground on the water protective area. You know, environmentalists may not like this. Environmentalists, however, have made an urgent application. On the other hand, the company is reducing the number of production lines for the body in white from 2 to 1. You should still be able to build 10,000 chassis per week. Another change is in transit traffic. 
Tesla now expects, as I said earlier in my earlier reports about Giga Berlin, that Giga Berlin will have 1,515 delivery vehicles per day. That's a lot of traffic. And 11,000 page permit application is available for four more weeks. Objections can then be submitted for another four weeks. Last time it was 416 objections. I don't remember how many pages the last document was. Now, Tesla is planning a change in Kuhnheit, as I said. These changes include 40 files and there's full of explanations, series of uh, measurements, maps, tables and the ground a group are available on Friday. Um, since last Friday, in East, Brandenburg, East Brandenburg offices and also is on the Internet. Documents can be viewed for a month, like I said. It is noticeable that many of the pictures, quantities and material names in these documents by Tesla have been blackened out um, because Tesla considers them a... Um, proprietary information that may affect the stock of the company. Tesla has not yet commented on this when asked by German media, particularly RBB24. It is probably about trade secrets, like I said, and information relevant to the stock exchange. Now, what's new about these plans? The most important thing is the battery factory that I said above. Tesla plans and wants to produce batteries. Tesla wants to convert an already approved warehouse in the southeast of the property. Uh, like I said, up to 50 gigawatt hours of electric uh, electricity are to be packed in the batteries there every year. A um, little bit ago, I said that 50 gigawatt hours will be enough to make 500,000 uh, vehicles that Tesla plans to uh, do at Giga Berlin. But now this also roughly corresponds to an annual consumption of 25,000 two-person households. That's how much battery they, electricity they will make. According to Industry Circles, this would be the largest battery factory in Europe, but now Northworld wants to compete with that uh, and, uh, and also largest battery factory in the world. However, Tesla is likely to plan and expand uh, the battery factory in the coming years. There are details uh, about 4680 battery cells that Tesla announced last year and wants to build at Giga Berlin, but not much on the production. Uh, I covered this a couple of days ago. Please check on, on our YouTube channel. First, it was announced that Giga Berlin will have a battery manufacturing segment and then that the battery cells will be coated with a dry electrode. It was expanded that the battery, actually, it was expected that the battery production might delay the factory vehicle production line. Now it's happening. However, the German team seems to take both battery production and vehicle production in two separate ways. Until Giga Berlin starts making batteries, it was, it was expected that the factory received Tesla batteries, factory would receive Tesla batteries from the United States manufacturing plan uh, from, um, from the Fremont factory. The 4680 battery cells is not yet used in any model yet for production in any Tesla model. So the eyes on Giga Berlin are eagerly looking out for these futuristic batteries. Giga Berlin is, will start building cars with these futuristic batteries. As the State Department decided that the document regarding the battery production plan was made public. And like I said, some parts about 5680 tabless battery productions were heated, but the info gives a clear idea of what's happening. And I talked about that in my report two days or three days ago. It says generally that Tesla will be using lithium ion cells for energy storage systems and in electric vehicles, but they are going to use new production methods in, to make the battery cheaper with high efficiency. Initially, they plan to produce 50 gigawatt, like I said, then increase the capacity. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about these developments, about Northvolt battery. I'm glad every time I hear new companies expanding their battery efforts because when a car company comes and says, we're going to have this much electric vehicles, the first question that comes to my mind is, what type of battery are you using? Are you using the existing batteries that Panasonic, Cattle, and SK Innovation or LG Energy are selling? Or are you going to come up with something new, better batteries with better density, 
with the better power with faster charging times which is very important so these things are really really important and uh, i'm glad to see northvolt is uh, uh, is doing this going forward with this i'm hoping that their research uh, its research will come up with new battery technologies and i'm glad that the largest company two large companies like volvo and volkswagen are supporting the effort, effort with a lot of cash injection and investment so let's see what their battery team will come up with in the next couple of years like i said they start in 2026 although the research team will start in 2022 next year but tesla's uh, giga berlin battery factory basically the whole giga berlin is 80 percent ready and i have a report coming today in which you will see cars being already painted inside giga berlin as they go through the process have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you, friends. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up. And I'll see you soon in our next report about electric vehicles or Tesla. Peace be with all of you.